This is a test of the Aperture Deity shotgun microphone. I'm recording into a Canon XF200 camcorder. The microphone is at about 6 to 8 inches from my mouth, being held in a Rycote Lyre suspension system. I'm not recording this in a perfect environment, it's just a normal everyday room. There is some noise from outside, cars, sirens, that kind of thing, aeroplanes going overhead, but by and large it is quiet and there are plenty of soft furnishings to damp the sound. The microphone is a relatively short shotgun that requires 48 volts phantom powering from the camcorder you plug it into, as many professional microphones do. It's fairly solidly built, it feels heavy and solid in the hand, and apertures say it will withstand a drop of 1.5 metres. They also say that because the circuitry inside is coated, the microphone can be fully submerged in water, provided that it is then completely dried out for a couple of days afterwards, and it should be back to good as new. Aperture are pitching this microphone against some quite high-end competitors, none of which I own. So, for the purposes of comparison, I'm going to read a passage from Alice in Wonderland on the Aperture Deity microphone, a Sennheiser ME66 microphone, and a Rode NTG2 shotgun microphone. By this time, she had found her way into a tidy little room with a table in the window, and on it, as she had hoped, a fan and two or three pairs of tiny white kid gloves. She took up the fan and a pair of the gloves, and was just going to leave the room when her eye fell upon a little bottle that stood near the looking-glass. There was no label this time with the words drink me, but nevertheless she uncorked it and put it to her lips. I know something interesting is sure to happen, she said to herself, whenever I eat or drink anything. So I'll just see what this bottle does. I do hope it'll make me grow large again, for really I'm quite tired of being such a tiny little thing. It did so indeed, and much sooner than she had expected. Before she had drunk half the bottle, she found her head pressing against the ceiling, and had to stoop to save her neck from being broken. She hastily put down the bottle, saying to herself, That's quite enough. I hope I shan't grow any more. As it is, I can't get out at the door. I do wish I hadn't drunk quite so much. Alas, it was too late to wish that. She went on growing and growing, and very soon had to kneel down on the floor. In another minute there was not even room for this, and she tried the effect of lying down with one elbow against the door and the other arm curled around her head. Still she went on growing, and as a last resource she put one arm out of the window and one foot up the chimney, and said to herself, Now I can do no more. Whatever happens, what will become of me?'